Hi guys, this is more of an announcement or I guess notification video than an actual video. I'm going to try and recount what happened, but essentially I lost the footage for days 37 through 49. Uh, what happened was I use MSI Afterburner to record my videos. And usually when it starts recording, it'll show up in the top left corner of the screen. It'll show a little purple spinning circle, and uh, that just lets you know that you are recording. And it's convenient, because, you know, then that way you know if something goes wrong or anything like that. But, um... I don't get that with Don't Starve for some reason. I don't really know why. But um, I, I don't get that with Don't Starve, so whenever I start recording, I just kind of go off the faith that it's recording, and I've been getting way too... I've been recording long sessions, as you guys know, and uh, I recorded f 12 days? Yeah, I mean, well, 37 to 49, I guess that's... 13 days? I don't know. Anyways, I recorded a bunch of days. And, um, when I got out of it, I had the commentary because I actually tried doing live commentary this time. And that had nothing to do with why the video went wrong. That was, like, its own thing. That was fine. But I don't have anything to apply it to now, and I don't think you guys really want to... I didn't think you guys really wanted to listen to an hour and 45 minutes of me talking over a black screen, so... I, uh, I got rid of it. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. And, um, so, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm really sorry, guys. I just, this is more an apology than anything else. I'm sorry that, uh, this went wrong and that this happened. But, uh, I can at least tell you kind of what went down to catch you up when we come back on day 50. I am going to continue the series. We're going to just pick up where I left off, and uh, hopefully I can catch you guys up as much as possible, but anyways, uh, so day 37, obviously, I, uh, autumn had just started, and I was pretty happy about that. Um, I spent a couple days just kind of filling out the map, and I actually ended up finding uh, Maxwell's door, which leads to adventure mode. Didn't go into it, didn't do anything like that, but I explained it. It's basically where you go to uh, go through these kind of preordained challenges. They're still randomly generated, but, you know, that that aside, anyways. You can use it to unlock some characters if you're looking for a challenge. It, it is like the ultimate don't starve challenge, and it's just gauntlet after gauntlet. So, so that's pretty cool. We found the door that leads to that. And, um, I headed back to base, and I started getting silk because I wanted to make a tent since, um, the Siesta Lean 2 was going to run out. Actually, before that happened, though, just as I was going out to do that, I think, yeah, uh, what happened was I, I went through a hound attack, and I thought it would be cool to distract one of the hounds by having it attack the tree guard that we had near our base, Unfortunately, a firehound attacked the red ones, the red hounds, that when they die, they burst into flames and pretty much consume everything else around them in flames. Of course, that was the one hound that got distracted by the tree guard. So the tree guard smacks this thing to death. It burns up. The tree guard lives through the thing, of course, because it has a lot of health. But the whole forest around my base burnt down as well as every structure in my base, minus the fire pits and the uh, ice box. Everything else, the crock pot, the science machines, the prestahatitator, the shadow manipulator, uh, all of the chests burnt down. Uh, the berry bushes and the twigs were fine, but the grass also burnt down. So there I was. Everything's burnt down. I was kind of freaking out. But I figured I've made it through this before, because I've gone through destroyed bases, and I've come back from that. It is time-consuming. And pretty much that led into a lot of what the next couple days were, like the good f next good 5-10 days were. Um, at the point that I'm at where we resume, I've um, 
I've recovered the science machine, the alchemy engine, the crock pot, um, pretty much everything except for the shadow ma manipulator. I even got the prestahatitator back. So everything's good now. I didn't get the grass back, but I know, you know it, it barely even matters. And then uh, I also planted a tree farm a little further away from my base so that didn't happen again. Uh, speaking of trees, uh, I encountered two absolutely humongous tree guards, the biggest ones I've ever seen in any game of Don't Starve. They're probably, like, kind of common, but, like, I've never seen... They're bigger than the biggest size of a normal tree, the biggest size a tree can get. Like, they were one step up from that, and that was really scary. Like, they were totally boss rank tree guards, and there were two of them, and they were both humongous, so that was pretty amazing. Um... And then later on, I actually encountered two tiny tree guards who were <coughs> in my, excuse me, <coughs> who were in my new tree tree farm. The big ones were up by the spiders' nests while I was exploring the world more. I also filled out the beefalo uh, fields, like I filled out the bottom portion of one part of that. I got some beefalo wool. Um, I don't know. I mean. There was some progress made, but I didn't make anything new, honestly. It's been a very kind of... It was a very static period of days. The autumn was actually not as progressive as I had hoped for. But uh, I did make a winter hat to prepare for winter. And I'm going to hunt the winter coelophant when the time comes for that. But um, really, I don't know what else to say. There were two hound attacks. The second hound attack that happened after the one that burnt my whole base down with the help from that tree guard... Uh, was pretty uneventful. They almost killed Chester, but he has a lot of health, and he has fast health regen, so he made it through okay, and I killed all the hounds, this time not burning down my da my base. So that was good. Um, aside from that, there's, there's not too much else. I mean, I gathered more materials, I broke down some, you know, pig heads on sticks so that I could get the pig, the pig skins out of those. I just got a bunch of materials. I mean, that's really it. I prepared for winter. I'm more or less ready for winter whenever it comes, and I did some world exploration. So that, in essence, is what you missed. Of course, all the little niche things that I, of course, forget details and all that, but that was kind of the point, and this is getting to be about the length of uh, my average Don't Starve a Day episode. So that, in essence, is what happened. That I hope can sum up in some way what happened. So, giant tree guards, hounds burning down my entire base, reconstructing the base, found Maxwell's door, and explored the world. So, that's what you missed. Oh, I didn't mention, uh, I did find, I did successfully uh, obtain Glomer's flower, and I got Glomer as my, my little companion. Um, you'll see him when I start recording the next session, which I may do tonight just to make up for what I lost here, but, um, I just wanted you guys to know what happened so you weren't in the dark about the fact that we went from day 36 to day 50 in the next episode. So, thank you all for listening in. I'm really sorry that this happened. This was a giant flub on my part, and, uh, I should have checked, and I really shouldn't be doing these hour-long recording sessions i should do one at a time but uh i don't know i guess i'm just impatient anyways i hope you can forgive me i i'm really sorry that this happened but um yeah i will i will as much as it pains me i will kill off glomer number one so i can show off the old bell and we can use it to protect uh our base against the deer clops and then also so that i can show you the the way to get um, Glomer, even as a were beaver, how to get his flower so that you can pick it up and you know bring it back and all that good stuff. So uh, look forward to that. I will show that off. That is one of the more important parts of this playthrough, I think, and I think it's worth showing off. And it's been a while since the last full moon in my playthrough, so I think that should be pretty interesting. Anyways, I gotta stop now. It's almost ten minutes, so. Thank you for listening in. I hope this has caught you up on the general what's happened in the last couple days, and uh, I'll try and make sure this doesn't happen again, because uh, it's really not fun to lose that much progress. It's not fun for me, because I 
I lose a lot of footage to show you guys, and also I lose a lot of recording time, so I have to record more stuff now, but regardless, uh, thank you for watching, Thanks, thank you for listening, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow with the next episode. We're having a giant time skip, but but it's okay, you didn't miss a huge amount. It's it's all stuff that I can show you guys, and it's it's pretty standard Don't Starve stuff, so. Alright, I'll catch you later. Bye.